Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Jen Seen, aka John Apps. I'm so happy to have you here. Today we're going to be doing a fall slash autumn makeup look and I got a new palette from Ulta. So I'm really excited to share with you what I have in mind. Now most of the products here are going to be affordable products, probably with the exception of one, um, but most of them are either drugstore or affordable products that you can get online, i.e. ColourPop, etc. You know what I mean? So before we go ahead and get started, make sure that you're subscribed if you want to make sure to keep up with my latest videos. And also give this a thumbs up if you like makeup tutorials. Okay, so first off, I'm using my Makeup Revolution. This is the concealer in C13. And I almost never use concealer as a base for my eye makeup, but I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned. I really like this concealer because it's super matte and it has really great coverage so if you have any discoloration it's going to be great for that. And I'm going to use a flesh colored eyeshadow. I'm just going to use Culture from the Makeup Shayla uh, palette here and go on with a really light dusting. So I got this Morphe 35M palette uh, recently and look how pretty this is you guys. I'm going to be doing a green look for you right over here. So let's get started. So I've got these brushes here. These are the Alamar Cosmetics brushes. <laughs> They're brushes that I got in my Boxy Charm box. They send me one every month. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try some of these brushes. This one is, it doesn't have a name, okay, but it's a blending brush. And I'm going to dip into this green shade right here. It is called Stroke of Luck. And I'm just going to be depositing it right in that transition area. So it goes on super light and you do have to build it up. I'm just gonna let you guys know right then and there. But I really do want the shade to be more subtle because it is going to be in my transition area. So I don't want it to be like a super bright, harsh color because we're gonna be building up on this. Okay, so see how that's nice and diffused? What I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit more pigment there. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush that's a little bit more dense and then I'm going to go over that area and then it deposited a lot more color I love it okay so now I'm ready to go into the next shade it's called express yourself and it's more of a darker olivey green and I'm going to take that same brush here this is a delium tool 781 brush and really pack that color and blend it into stroke of luck. And now we have a really nice base. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a super dense brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk and it is called number eight. And you see how it's like super dense bristles? I wanna take this next shade, it's called Nude Toot. And it's a really dark, dark, like khaki green. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it in the corner right here just because I want to kind of see where exactly I want to place this. And now I'm going to go ahead and blend it right above my crease. And it's not quite giving me what I want, so I'm going to take this brush. It's a Sephora uh, number 15. Use that same color Nude Toot because this one gives me a little bit more of a controlled placement. Now I'm going to take my Delium Tools brush again and dip it into this color Green with Envy. I'm going to use circular motion on the outer part of my eye right here and then I'm going to bring it right up into the crease still using those circular motions so occasionally I just like open my eyes so I can see exactly where my hooded eyes uh, are and then I bring it right above because I kind of want to create like a faux crease you know so that the colors are more visual visible now i'm going to take a clean blending brush and just kind of fix whatever i did over here okay so next up this is the whole reason why i even use concealer in the first place i'm going to dip my dura line into this color right here called electric feel and i've got my flat alamar uh, cosmetics eye brush and i'm going to go ahead and use this to carve my crease out with this nice green shimmery color. All right, so I'm back. I did my other eye. I applied liner and lashes off camera. These lashes are from Batty B Lashes and they come in this and it's called uh, hashtag Batty right there. <laughs> now, you guys, these lashes are not for the 
timid. They are very dramatic, but if you like dramatic lashes, I recommend you check them out. They are not in the affordable range. I mean, to me, you know, obviously they're a little bit pricier than Ardell lashes, but I just want to give you guys a heads up if you're wondering if they're like drugstore prices. Now for primer, I'm going to use a primer concoction. I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer in my T-zone, my chin, and my mustache area because those are the areas that I tend to get the most oily. Then I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend. This is their skin primer and skin smoothing. <laughs> and I'm going to apply that to the rest of my face, particularly my cheeks, especially anywhere I have texture. All right, so today I'm going to be using my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This is the shade 355 Coconut. And I'm just going to go ahead, dot that on. And I'm using my Morphe M439 to spread that out. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Age Rewind, and this is in the shade Tan. I do like this concealer for more of an everyday kind of coverage, but I don't like the applicator. I really wish it was a doe foot applicator. If you guys haven't seen my review on this, definitely check it out because I swatched a whole bunch of shades for you guys. Um, but this does complement this foundation shade really well. And then of course, going in with my Morphe sponge to go ahead and blend this all out. Doesn't that look really flawless, you guys? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set everything very quickly with this Milani setting powder. I always love this. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore uh, setting powders that has actual tint to it, you know? And I'm gonna use this Luxie brush. This is the 660. So for cream contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use an oldie but a goodie. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion Cream Contour in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm gonna use the contour shade right here. So I'm gonna be applying this to kind of create that hollows of the cheek or accentuate it, I guess. And also to my jawline to give it more of a defined shape because I do tend to have more of a round shape face, which is good, but you know, I definitely wanna give it a little bit more of that snatched look. And of course, I'm going to use my Morphe sponge to blend that out. To blend out my jawline, I'm using this Real Techniques. It's their sculpting brush and go ahead and blending it out. Okay, so for powder, I'm going to go ahead and use the contour shade in the Black Radiance Powder uh, Contour Kit. You just want to go in really lightly because it's better to go in light and build up than to put too much because then your contour is just going to make you look awful. <laughs> now I do want to go ahead and clean up that contour, make it look a bit more chiseled. So I'm going in with my Milani setting powder and the kind of straight edge of this Morphe sponge. I'm going to dip it in, make sure I get an even coverage there and go ahead and cut that out to give it that sharp edge. See, doesn't that look nice? And then we just go ahead and dust it off. And sometimes if it's really harsh like this, I go ahead and take a powder brush and just go ahead and like buff it out really gently. Now we can don't forget about our blush. I'm going to use this blush and glow palette from Profusion and I'm going to go into this shade right here, Lovejoy, and I'm going to be applying it with the Laura Mercier blush brush <laughs> and going in really lightly. Now I just want you see that hint of color because I don't want it to be overpowering because we do have this green on the eyes and it might be a little crazy you know what I mean? <laughs> okay so I'm just going to have a little bit of an intermission with my <laughs> continuous setting mist. I just want to take away from any like powdery look right now because I'm really not feeling it and this is a wonderful wonderful like alternative to MAC Fix Plus for really melting in the makeup. For highlight I've got the shade Nubia. Literally, you guys, I'm just taking what's in this cap, taking my highlighting brush, dipping it in there. It's so pigmented, you've got to be careful. <laughs> and just going in really lightly. You see how pigmented that is? Woo! And switching sides of the brush and just blending that out. And honestly, even that was too much, as you guys can see right there. So I'm taking a clean highlighting brush and just blending that out because I don't want to add any more. And then I'm going to spray that down with my setting mist again. So for lips, I'm thinking of doing a mauve with a berry liner. And this one right here, this is from Pixie, and this is their Evening 
a uh, rose lipstick it's like a liquid lipstick and just so you're wondering that's what the color looks like now of course we need a liner and I'm gonna be using covergirls lip liner from their exhibitionist line and what is the shade the shade is plum partner one thing that I really love about this lip liner is the shape of it it really helps you to get a really nice precise line without skipping or being dry or anything like that that. So the applicator of this liquid lipstick makes it so easy to just apply everything super quickly. You don't have to go over it a ton. It just glides on really smooth and there's something about the scent that is bomb. Now you guys are totally welcome to stop here but I love a good gloss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ColourPop. This is the Neat Freak Lip Gloss and I'm going to apply it all over the lips just to give it a subtle sheen. So I was thinking it's time for us to do a, another mystery street makeup box giveaway if you don't know what this is it's basically where i pick one of you guys and i give you a mystery box full of makeup it's kind of like the fun of not knowing what's in it but there's some bomb stuff i've been collecting some stuff for a giveaway for a while and i really want you guys to go ahead and win something so i'm going to be picking one person i'll have all the details listed down in the description box please make sure that you comment down below and leave your instagram username it's it's easier for me to pick a winner on Instagram and notify you and get your mailing address and all that good stuff. YouTube kind of makes it a little bit harder to do that. So this look kind of gives me like army Barbie vibes, like Barbie with the pink lip, but also like khaki green realness and I'm freaking loving it. Let me know your thoughts about the look down below. Now if you haven't already, I would love for you to check out my previous autumn look. Let me know what you think about that and also don't forget to subscribe if you're still here and you haven't joined the family already. As always, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!